Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, EA messes up yet again this year. It seems to be a common occurrence. I have a notification here. Is this uh, someone sending me a message from the Road to Glory? No, it's from updates. Okay, because I've been playing a couple of games here and there. But guys, EA messed up yet again. Uh, they released the menus for the World Cup mode, which we are going to try out right now we're just gonna check it out multiplayer activities uh from the playstation 5 menus you go to the world cup online quick play start activity it's gonna load up this whole entire thing here and then once it says data corrupted uh you just press x and you're in the lobby here so what you do is you press circle here and now you can see that you're in the actual menu for the world cup right so you can see that you can go to uh fifa world cup live kickoff online tournament world cup 2022 uh all of that good stuff right so uh this is me being new with this stuff so we're gonna be checking out uh, each individual thing to see what's up with this, right? So online tournament is the first one here. Uh, we're gonna be checking out uh, what the modes are actually like. So it seems, okay, so the format, the format of the World Cup mode, the format that I've told you guys for many, many years, my favorite format that exists for a gameplay game mode has returned to this game, right? So you can see that it's round of 16. Right, so we're gonna go into a round of 16, uh, quarterfinals, semifinals, grand finals, right? So hopefully that's like transferred over to the ultimate team version because the way that they used to do it is you would have your three group stage games and then through the group stages you would qualify and then you would go through these actual rounds and that way was uh, a fantastic way of being able to play the game. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, it shows your history here in the bottom left. If you go into play match, um, you can even choose all of the specific teams that are available, right? So uh, you can see Qatar, England, Austria, Croatia, Denmark, Finland, just a bunch of teams being listed in here, right? Portugal's in there, Sweden, Ukraine, Wales, so on and so forth, right? Argentina, Brazil, United States, China, a bunch of these teams in there. Okay, so cool. So they have the tournament mode set up the way that it is. If we go into history here. Uh, they show it exactly the same way as it is in foot drafts, right? So foot drafts has like the similar thing where they show you your goal difference, goals conceded, records and stuff. So some very interesting things there. Um, what else do we have here? So we have Coleman just chilling on the front right here. Um, all right, so that's the tournament mode. If we were to go to a custom tournament, that would be the same thing there. Customize. Let's see what you can customize here. So change favorite team settings that's the same thing as before change favorite team and then for, in my case i would obviously go to portugal's team we're gonna go to portugal's team here make that the team for me perfect so let's go to world cup live here let's see what they uh show you in the first part uh server data may, may be corrupted featured quick play online quick play back out again and i don't think we could see further than that no okay so what we can do now is we can actually see the individual teams and there is an error. Something went wrong with the game or app. Sounds good. We actually found an opponent in the World Cup mode. Ha! We literally just found an opponent. I don't know if I reset my settings for my controller, but I guess we could play. We have detected your squad file does not match that of your opponent and have canceled the match to prevent unfair play. Should your squad be corrupted or a tamper with you, you'll need to delete your online squad file and re-download. Probably just got banned, honestly. Uh, you can't ban people for this EA. You guys keep messing up this year, man. I don't think I am, but... Um, yeah, let's go check regular ultimate team before uh, before we realize that we're messed up, bro. We're messed up. Let's see, let's see if we're good to go. If we're good to go, then we're going to keep trying to play those games, bro. We're going to keep trying. All right, so we're good to go. Let's got to try again. So guys, people were actually able to play the first initial game if they actually started up the uh, matchmaking really quickly. Uh, but you obviously can't do it now because if I were to search for a match now and I actually found someone, it would just kick me out. And deleting the profile or whatever it is, that little message that they popped up with uh, doesn't seem to be doing anything either, right? So um, yeah, just, uh, just, just to clarify, just to clarify uh, that it doesn't work anymore. But there was people that were able to play uh, the first game initially, right? So you can see that if I go to play match, it does actually find people, um, but you just can't play. So you're going to see that I'm going to be able to find someone probably yet again, uh, but I probably won't be able to 
actually get into a match, right? So we'll probably search again. Yeah, it's it's interesting how this works, honestly. It's really, really interesting how this works. But yeah, the tournament of this game mode, man, I just wish that it was an ultimate team. If it was an ultimate team, it'd be like a really, really sick game to grind for the rewards and all that kind of stuff, right? But unfortunately, not really the case currently. But yeah, you can see right now, I'm not really able to find anybody because people are probably going to like the live content stuff now um, because they probably can't find an actual match. Yeah, guys, so there was actually people able to uh, play some games or they played their first game in the online tournament mode, right? If we were actually able to do that at first, then we would have been good to go uh, to show you gameplay initially. But um, obviously, they probably did something where they disabled it because if I were to actually search for a match again, it's just going to do that same exact message. Whether I do the little profile deleting thing or whatever, it's not really going to make any significant difference because it's just going to be the same exact thing, right? But yeah, the menus have been leaked. Uh, it's really, really nice, to be fair. It's a really, really nice uh, menu. In the Ultimate Team version of the game, it's definitely going to be very interesting to see kind of how everything looks, right? So I just wanted to get this video out first. You can see that I'm getting pretty much kicked out now um, from being able to do certain things. All right, so let's go to the kickoff mode here. No, they just don't let you do it now. Yeah, they don't let you do it now. So I guess in order for us to actually go ahead and check out the teams, we'd probably have to go into the tournament mode and then go to each individual squad, right? So we go into play match. Um, in my case, we would do Portugal. Right. And then if I were to go into the actual squads, we'll be able to see each individual one. Right. So uh, you can see the players on the bench here for the Portuguese national team. Right. Like we set up with a 4 2 3 one because that's what I've been using on Ultimate Team. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can actually play a game of the World Cup mode and just take it from there, you know, but obviously we couldn't uh, start any games, right? But you can see that the player stats, it's the same thing, really, uh, with the differences of the players that they actually add into this. But yeah, definitely another mess up by EA to release something like this early into the game. Um, but obviously you can't really play it. Uh, let's see, change kits, settings, match set making settings. Yeah, so we could definitely search for a match. Uh, probably not going to be able to find anybody now because they literally just kick you out uh, when you do actually find opponents. But uh, yeah, you know, hopefully for the World Cup mode on Ultimate Team, uh, it ends up being kind of like the same format in regards to how the tournament mode is in this because it is the best format possible, right? So you can see that we found an opponent yet again. And you can tell that it's glitched because when you're trying to play this, it like stops, right? Like you can't run, you can't do any of that stuff, right? If I were to skip, it's just going to do the exact same thing again. But this little settings thing that they tell you to do, you really can't do anything about it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check out some of the squads that we have in here, right? Because obviously we have like the big teams uh, that they released into this. So we have to go to the tournament mode to be able to check out the squads, go to play match, and we would go to the actual squads here actually i don't think i can switch here can i switch here reset match day team sheet match making sense change kit oh i can't check out any of the other things eh i i think the only way that i can actually change the um, the country is by doing this so if I wanted to check out Argentina, for instance, I would have to make that my favorite and then go back into the tournament mode. And then I could probably check out the Argentinian team too. play match. Oh, now it's stuck on the Portugal one. And I don't think I could switch the team, correct? No, I don't think you can. Then they make you start with that Portugal squad. Yeah. History, round of 16. They make you choose a team initially. Uh, World Cup Live. You go to World Cup Live, so it may, it may be corrupted. And then nothing, right? Yeah, you go right back. The World Cup Tournament. Download the latest updates. There we go. Oh, and you can actually see the team select here. Well, obviously, I got to go to Portugal, fourth place, 2002. And advance here. Why do we love it? 
sure, we'll just do it right here. Why not? Let's see if they actually let you save it. Oh. Little bit of a little bit of a graphic thing, okay. No gameplay audio, by the way. This is how you know they messed up. Alright, alright. FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Play match. Standings. Player stats. News. Can I actually play a match though? Let's see if I can play a match from this. Play highlights. Play match. Will they let me do the kickoff? That would be so funny if they did. Let's see. Maybe the kickoff works, boys. Who knows? It's taking a long time to load. Oh. Okay, just a bunch of graffiti. It's not loading anything. <laughs> oh, this is so messed up, bro. This is so messed up. Oh, look, I can't do anything. It's, it's literally like it doesn't let me do anything. It's paused. That's it. So, I mean, you know what? <laughs> we'll make that into a video. You know, EA releasing yet again another mistake. Uh, if you guys do all this kind of stuff, you can obviously see it yourself. I'm going to show you guys that if you do... Yeah, so just to show you guys that you can easily go back into Ultimate Team, no problem. You just can't play games because they, they they disabled the matchmaking for sure. Unless people found a way to like delete that profile that they have and whatnot. But um, yeah, you can see that you can clearly go back into Ultimate Team. It is a mistake on EA's part, leaking what the menus actually look, at, look like. But yeah, definitely a huge mistake on their part. Absolutely... Massive W for content careers when it comes to making the actual videos for it. But yeah, uh, this will be on the Road to Glory video, guys. Uh, not the World Cup stuff, but this is like the, the team that we have. We just updated Bernardo Silva to Diogo Jota. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.